evil our society that makes our people sad. We are a society that gives our people drugs to forget that we are sad. Topic inspired by Ted Kaczynski. The Unis B O M Burr. Gotta remain off the watch list, but probably I am on the watch list for watching. Um, someone uploaded his uh, his manifesto. And that was uh, one of the things he said on there. Uh, we are society that. He said something like that. We are society that. Makes our. Sit, I, know, I think he said citizens. Citizens sad. We are society that gives our. Citizens. We are, we are a society. I think he said a country. We are a country that makes our. Citizens sad and then gives them drugs to get that they are to make them forget that they are sad. But uh, and that's mostly a white thing. Oh, I see. I knew you were racist. Oh wait, was it against white people? Oh no, he wasn't. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's funny that when I critique black people, I'm racist, but when I don't. Oh, obviously, you're right. Them white folks. They're wrong. School shooters, they're all white kids. Mm -hmm. But, um. <clears throat> you know, um. And, and okay, for legal reasons, I'm not a psychologist clinical psychologist, therapist, shoe therapist, fashion director, fashion diva, movie critic, school counselor, or a crosswalk guard with a stop sign. I am in no, I'm in no way responsible to hold any authority as to what is right or wrong or know what the fuck I'm talking about. Just my opinion. But then again, who does? But I, I bring that up because I, I really doubt that there isn't at least one motherfucker that uh, watches my videos. Who isn't in a bad mood? Who has the stupid idea? Oh man, life's so hard. Life's, life's unfair. Um, and I'm helpless. First true. Are correct the last one is not life is unfair yeah it is it's hard it can be but I also do believe that life is simple I said simple here motherfucker it's not easy <clears throat> because the the path <laughs> the path to a better future simply is going forward And um, again, people that know me personally, you know where I worked at, you know where I've lived. You know how, what sort of bitches I picked up, younger and hotter bitches out of my fucking league that some way, somehow crossed my path and uh, let me bust them cheeks. I made income that was way more above minimum wage. And again, all I have is a high school diploma. I come from a broken family. From a broken, supposed family. <laughs> supposed family. And, and we'll start there, man, because people will say, um, I mean, I like watching telenovelas, TV shows, dramas, anything that has something stupid like that, you know, Family is everything, and YouTube channels, family is everything. And it's just, all it takes is just some simple 
uh, YouTube surfing. I remember seeing one uncle testifying in front of a judge. I'm not sure if it was a judge injury, but in front of a judge saying that, yeah, you know, my nephew, he did this murder and that murder so that he could get um, his kidnapping case, a separate case, his kidnapping charge dropped or reduced or some shit like that. And I was like, fuck, what a bitch. Um, uh, this, this one makes me tear up. Um, uh, just today, uh, going on the news, Spanish news, and I see a dad, fucking Mexican, who I uh, can't believe doesn't know Spanish, though. And uh, he's talking to the news about how his, uh, his daughter was going to be, I think, one on Monday, next Monday, and instead they're instead of, instead of celebrating the her birthday, they're already making arrangements for a funeral because she was beat to death. She was left uh, in the backpack in the back or in the trunk of a car. That's why the boyfriend had died, and before that. Um, You know, the grandma saw bruises on her. And I thought, again, yeah, stupid fucks will say, man, you're fucking retarded. You're gay because you ain't got no kids. You didn't die alone. And I think of, um, you know, this scenario, this scenario where, you know, I really doubt that, uh, when the child was born, the dad uh, calculated, yeah, you know, my daughter's going to be murdered within a year, obviously. Or let, let me prepare for that, for that murder. No. But it was the, the mother's boyfriend who did that. I'm losing my, my train of thought because... Uh, no, very like, very like, I'd be um, <clears throat> on death row if I had a child and someone hurt, hurt my child. Very likely, yeah. I I I'd, I'd end up on death row. <laughs> my YouTube channel. No. I don't know how tight security is on death row. But um, yeah. Oh my goodness, you're a terrorist. <laughs> Remember, um, <clears throat> a mugshot of some Asian kid who, I think he, I think he broke into someone's house, but the father <laughs> caught him uh, touching, touching or about to touch his um, daughter. And uh, you look at his mugshot, Fuck, it looked like Fedor Emelianenko. If you don't know who that is, well, then we'll use Mike Tyson. It looks like Mike Tyson used his face as a, <laughs> as a sparring partner. Workout and, um, and, uh, fucking, uh, aggression to let it all out. Yeah, but, uh, Praise be to Allah the merciful that the dad didn't get charged, but the, the fucking piece of shit, <laughs> he, uh, he got locked up. <clears throat> but, you know, <clears throat> but, it, but even then, that right there, you know, I'm in California, and, I, and I've been to Old Town, Sacramento, where you can go up there. I can take my dog saying, yeah, I've been there too. But you go to Old Town, Sacramento, and um, I felt like a little girl with, um, with a bonnet and 
it comes little bangs from uh, the TV show um, House on the Perry or something like that. And I was about to run to some uh, Lily Fields, Blossom Goods, whatever the fuck is the meme. Because uh, I saw these, uh, you know, these 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 places where the cowboys used to go up and play out their horses, go to the saloon. <coughs> Everyone with their revolvers around their fucking waist. Um, what do you have? And looking for the outlaw and disrespect. But there was a point where you called someone a liar. You called someone's disrespect someone's wife. You called them a liar. And it was common, regular. If you call my wife a liar, that she took the dollar bill or that she took your porridge or whatever, and you tell the whole town, those are grounds to, for me to ask you, hey, buddy, um, you're lying and uh, to defend my wife's honor. Let's uh, duel tomorrow at noon and. Uh, you know, basically shoot shoot to the death. Duels, man. From that. So that's in California to the point now that <clears throat> we have uh, trannies. Big, beautiful trannies that are teaching kids that you're no longer a boy or girl. You're a unicorn. You're an alligator. You're a shim. You're a sherm. You don't know what the fuck you are. You're a wizard. You're a tranny. Fuck the homeless problem. Let's pass a law that uh, fix, bans um, plastic straws. And we create safe spaces. And, and I just wonder what what the hell's going on, man. Uh, that we came from those times that you know, somewhat. I forget the actual migration of of mankind throughout the native lands, where they landed on the east coast and they finally said, you know what, um. There's gold in them darn hills, or let's go find our own farm where it's too rainy right here. Let's go where it's warmer and shit, man. You know, if people are so fucking, so much of a coward, lazy, fat fucking piece of shit that they can't make a road trip in the car with AC and the radio and the fucking iPod adapter. On a nice concrete highway, pretty smooth highway. If you can't do that, they sh fuck yeah, they wouldn't last back then when um, what was it called, the carriage? When we used to go, you know, I'm, I'm guessing it would cost a lot of money to have a carriage, and um, you're going cross country, man, on wooden wheels. Um, there's no fucking road. There's just a map. And what's what's your GPS? Okay, the sun. What's it called? Sun rises out of the west, settles in the east, or whatever. Rises in the east. It's fucking up, man. <clears throat> the sun rises in the east and settles in the west. That that's your fucking Google Maps. And and uh, 
You know, I was thinking that I was, as I was there, man, to the point that, you know, all, all those things, that whole timeline was flashing back to me of what it was back then to what it is today. And yeah, man, you know what? I can appreciate a shitter, toilet paper, a Starbucks, man. Fucking. I don't know if it's lemonade or. Or chata. Soda. Or even what's the nasty one? Nasty ass root beer. The fuck you drink? But I could appreciate that with um with the ice, man. Any beverage to quench my thirst with ice. With shade. An umbrella, a porch, a patio. I can appreciate that, man. You know, but, but what's happened to us? I'm not going to say you, it's us. Because, you know, e even me today... <clears throat> still up to this day I still uh, need to talk to myself think to myself man hey, hey keep going keep going and I know someone your age someone a day older someone a day younger has either quit killed themselves used drugs given up on their dreams or even worse of all have become Hillary supporters living for prison Trump 2020 by the way but um yeah what, what the fuck's going on man what the fuck and, and I think um whether we say whether we say you know what I'm tired of this li living in this bad neighborhood I'm tired of being broke I'm tired of being fat I'm tired of being weak I'm tired of not having big muscles I'm tired of not having a girlfriend I'm tired of not having a boyfriend I'm tired of not being married I'm tired of um crime corruption um or as simple as I'm tired of this job I'm tired of working here Tired of this car, tired of this, and you know, why haven't you jumped? No, motherfucker, not jump off the bridge, but you know, took in the leap, man, the leap into action for change or improvement. <coughs> Some piece of shit, weak motherfucker, excuse believer. Not a god believer, <laughs> excuse believer. Well, see, well, it's easy for you to say you're in Los Angeles and you, um, you got all this opportunity and you got this talent and that talent. There are people that grew up with more than me who had access to more, more resources, schools, training, contacts, who have not chosen to to fulfill potential, their potential to make shit happen, man. Just like the people that have had way less, man. I'm reading about this one donut king here in Los Angeles. I think he was Filipino. Came to this country, I think, with ten dollars. <laughs> ten fucking dollars. Did not know English. Started working at a donut shop. Serving donuts and wiping the tables down. To eventually buying the donut shop. To buying more donut shops. And now is a fucking multi-millionaire. Oh, but, uh, but you see. Um. Uh. Um. Did, you know, did you know that Trump is a racist? Did you know that? 
Well, that's because he had Barack Obama in his back pocket. No, motherfucker. Oh, it's because Bush was over. Cause, oh, you know, Bush is about. Oh, no, because, you know, we need Clinton back. I don't need this or that. Um, it's because my car broke down. My motorcycle broke down. They stole my bicycle. They stole my roller skates. This and that, this and that. Uh, and if you and if you have an excuse and you believe in it, hey, go ahead, believe in it. But for those people that that uh, realize, you know what, hey, this sucks. Um, this broken toy, broken tool, broken system, broken salt shaker. Yeah, this sucks. But you know what? What what can I do with it? How can they remedy this, fix this? And yeah, you and me right now, you know, certain things in life, <clears throat> you know, I'm not sure if the word is gamble. It's definitely not sacrifice, definitely not sacrifice. Sacrifice a, a a deep passionate word like love or like family sacrifice is something something out there above but I think I, I traded trade off traded I traded <coughs> a lot of comfort uh, to go on this journey um, that's that's unknown uh, that, well, it's somewhat irreversible because I don't get the time back. And um, remember one boss, shit, dude, this dude gave me access to bitches, money, clients, fucking, just everything was upgraded in my life, physically. But after working there for a while, I just saw, hey, you know, you know what? If, if it was about money, why not go, up, you know, play with real money? You know, fucking become a hedge fund manager, Wall Street a banker. You know, but but what's that gonna do? Just give me a nice shiny car, condo with access to a pool. of my thought here because I think I think when we don't <clears throat> when we don't look at ourselves and think okay hey, hey what's what's the fucking problem what's pissing me off what what do I not like about this job my boyfriend my girlfriend my boss my block where I live this person My dog lunging and every fucking dog, even the ones that are not barking. The fuck's the problem here? You know, when my dog would, um, I wouldn't scold it when it would bark at the other dogs that were trying to, um, to, to murder us. When dogs would get up and try to, um, bark and show us their teeth. I'm thinking, nah. I'm not gonna scold my dog to uh, be defensive against uh, something that's aggressive and trying trying to kill us. If it was bigger or if it was unleashed, it would get destroyed. And some stupid ass owners on their stupid fucking phones you know, have unleashed their dogs by stupid happenstance, and their dogs paid, but. That's it for now, motherfuckers. Get after it. Go forward. Trump 2020.